Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add animation to your trees using the pro version of Atree 3D. Let's start by previewing our current tree and then loading the first tree from the list. This is the tree that I'm going to animate. To do that I will need to enable one or more of the separate filters. In colors and filters rollout. Let's build the tree. It will take a little bit more time but as a result we will have a separate object for the trunk, separate objects for all the branches and separate objects for all the leaves. To add animation to this tree I will select the trunk and then go to modify panel. As we can see the trunk is editable mesh object, and below the default rollouts and parameters of editable mesh. We can find two new rollouts, a tree 3D rollout where we can modify this tree with the modify button. I will cancel this modify operation and move on. The second additional rollout is a tree 3D advanced rollout, here we can set the growth and wind parameters for this tree. Let's start with growth parameters. If I move this slider we will see that our tree has becoming smaller according to the slider position. I can move the slider from 0 growth percent to 100 growth percent. Also I can set growth percent manually by enabling this checkbox and enter the value from the keyboard. When I enter the value from the keyboard my changes will not be applied automatically. To apply them I'll need to press this button. The other parameter, growth curve, control how fast the branches and the leaves are growing compared to the trunk. If I set this value to a value bigger than 1, for example 1.5 and then apply the parameters. We can see that the branches and the leaves are growing slower than our trunk. If I set this value to a value smaller than 1, 0.5 for example and then apply the parameters, we will see that the leaves and the branches are growing faster than the trunk. Now let's disable set growth manually checkbox and move the slider to 20% growth for the animation. As we can see the tree has become really small. Then I will move the time slider to frame 15. Set auto key on, and move growth slider to 80%. This way with just a few clicks I've animated the tree, which is growing from frame 0 to frame 15 with 60%. If I move the time slider to frame 20 and move growth slider to 100. We will have our animation with the tree growing from 20% to 100% for 20 frames. I will disable auto key and move on to the wind parameters. If I enable this checkbox, we'll see that the wind parameters are affecting the tree, and if I play the animation we can see how the wind is affecting the branches and the leaves. If I increase the animation range to 200 and play the animation again we will see that after frame 100 our animation is stopping. This is because the wind parameters were applied only for the active time frames. If you want to apply this animation for the new range you can disable and enable the wind on off checkbox. To control the wind speed, we can use the slider and set the wind strength from 0 to 100. If I move it in the middle we will see that the changes are applied immediately to the tree. With the angle selector above the slider we can set the wind angle by clicking anywhere inside the circle. For example, now the wind is blowing to the left, and if the angle is set to 0 the wind will blow to the right. We can also set these parameters manually by enabling this checkbox. I will set the wind angle to 15 degrees and the wind strength to 5. To apply these parameters we will need to press this button. The third wind parameter is weed curve. This parameter control how the wind is affecting the leaves and the branches compared to the trunk. If we set value bigger than 1, for example 1.5, and then apply the parameters. We'll see that the trunk is affected a lot more from the wind than the branches and the leaves.
if we set a value smaller than 1 for example 0.5 and apply the parameters. We'll see that the leaves and the branches are affected a lot more from the wind than the trunk. I will set wind curve parameter to its default value, 0.75 and move on with the next wind parameters. Add noise animation checkbox will add random noise animation to each object of the tree. If I disable it and apply the parameters, we'll see that our tree is no longer moving. Disabling this option will be useful if we are rendering only single frames. I'll enable the checkbox again and move on with the noise parameters. The first parameter will generate different noise pattern based on the number that we've entered. For example the noise for seed 1 will have a different result than the noise generated for seed 2 and so on. The noise frequency controls how rapidly the tree's objects are moving. For example if we set value of 0.5, apply the parameters and play the animation we will see that the leaves are moving with very low frequency. If we set this value to 1.5 and apply the parameters, we'll see that our leaves are moving with higher frequency, if we use even bigger value of 3.0. And apply the parameters we will see that the leaves are start moving even more rapidly. The next parameter, noise strength controls the amount of noise movement of each tree element. For example if we set this value to 1 and apply the parameters. We'll see that the amount of movements of the leaves, the branches, and the trunk are very small. If we set the noise strength to 10 and apply the parameters. We'll see that the tree's objects are moving a lot more than before. The last noise parameter, noise curve, controls the noise amount applied to the leaves and the branches compared to the trunk. With smaller values we'll see that the noise applied to the trunk is a lot bigger than the noise applied to the rest of the tree. If I set bigger value, we can see that the noise applied to the branches and to the leaves is bigger than the noise applied to the trunk. Of course we can animate the wind for this tree but keep in mind that not all parameters are animatable. We cannot animate noise seed and noise frequency parameters. Let's set some keyframes. I will turn on auto key and at frame 50 will change the wind angle. Then at frame 100 I will change the wind angle again and play the animation. Animation starts with the tree growing, then the wind is blowing to the left and at the end of the animation wind is blowing to the right. It's important to know that all these parameters are not connected to the Atree 3D tool or Atree 3D dialog. We don't need Atree 3D to be installed or open, so that we can set growth and wind parameters. If we save the scene with this tree we can animate it with any 3ds Max installation without the need of any additional plugins. Check the links in the video description to download the scene and try on your own all the advanced Atree 3D growth and wind parameters. I hope you like this video. See you soon with new products and updates from Avis Studio Tools.